I think as of today, I have a little over 100 plants. The last time I counted was in May. It was 105 back then. But I bought some other plants. I think they're up to 110, 115 probably. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm 28 years old. And this is my day with Cosmo. I think my love for plants began late last year when I decided to buy one pot of snake plant. This snake plant was intended for indoors because I wanted to put some plants inside the house to make our house feel a bit more homey. These snake plants would survive in low light. And that area where I wanted to put my plant was in a corner of our house that didn't receive that much light. From that snake plant, I bought some photos and then it went on and on until I had this. I have a little over 100 plants. The last time I counted was in May. That was 105 back then. After May, I bought some other plants. I think they're up to 110, 115 probably. And with regards to what people are going to find in my garden, I think they are going to see a lot of aroids. I really like how they look. I have very few flowering plants. I only have Hoyas and none of them have bloomed yet. I only have one fruit-bearing plant and that is a calamansi. And I started planting seedlings as well. I have arugula over here. I have a tomato. I have oregano. This is ampalaya. I have some various rubber trees. I have monsteras. I have philodendrons. I have anthuriums. But most of them are tropical plants. I find them really, really beautiful and very easy to care for. I wake up in the morning and I drink my cold water, I do my skincare in the morning, and then I head straight back here. Not all of my plants require daily watering, so I don't really have to do that uh, with them. What I do though is I try to mist them all the time to maintain high humidity. And I just check for pests, I check for new growth. After I check on them, I go inside, check my socials, check my Instagram. I get a lot of inquiries in my Instagram on how to care for certain plants. And then after that, I check my YouTube, my analytics, my stats. After that, um, I play with my cat because I recently adopted a cat. When the pandemic hit us and the lockdowns began, I noticed that there were a lot of people who were interested in collecting plants. I remembered when I was a beginner plant a collector. I always looked into YouTube for videos about how to care for certain plants and I really enjoyed plant hauls. Then I noticed that there weren't really a lot of YouTubers or vloggers who talk about plants. So that's why I decided to make Sam's Halaman to talk about those things and in a way at least help my fellow plant collectors on how to care for plants that are available here in our country. And I think that's what makes my channel relatable to them. It is because I'm also here in the Philippines. You know, we share the same weather, the same climate. Just take it day by day. Don't be scared if a leaf turns yellow or a leaf dies. It's really part of the cycle. You're gonna see new leaves. Yes, that is the most fulfilling feeling. You're gonna see dying leaves and that's really all just part of it. Make sure to research about your plant so that you would know how to care for them. Try to mimic their natural environment. I think it's really nice that you get to know your plants. That way you will be able to tell if something is wrong with them. When you've done your research and you think you're fully ready, get your first plan. This, believe it or not, the very famous Monstera Deliciosa is a very easy care plant. It doesn't require that much sunlight, not much humidity. Anyone can make a Monstera Deliciosa thrive. Next one, you can get an Aglonema. This one, they will survive in any situation. They will survive rain, they will survive low light, they will survive direct sunlight. So this is very beginner friendly. And next is the Monstera Adansoniae. 
These are the Swiss cheese plants, the one that has holes on them. Also, those are very easy care plants. You can get the ZZ plant, you can get the snake plant, like what I got for the first time. And you can get pothos. These are my pothos. These are propagations from the mother plant. The mother plant is up here. It was trailing, so I decided to cut them and propagate some plants. These are some of the beginner-friendly plants that I can suggest. They are very accessible in the market right now, in Instagram, on Facebook Marketplace. You can search for the names of the plants and they'll pop out. I think ever since I started collecting plants, I felt that I have a certain connection with them. And at the same time, when I tend to them, it makes me relax. And when I'm anxious, especially during this time, I get a pot of a uh, mother plant of any sort. I cut them, I propagate them. My plants are really important to me. And my family, my friends know that. <laughs>